Hello again, everybody. Uh, continuing on the journey of discovering all kinds of new wines. 2023 is my year of wine. Uh, just discovering as much as we can. What makes a good wine? What makes a bad wine? What are really good wines? Ultimately, I'm just going to go after what I think really tastes good or doesn't. Uh, just honest opinions all across the board. I heard really great things from Rutherford uh, Vineyards, one of my favorite Cabernets on the planet at the moment. Uh, 2017, 2018, 2019 have served me very well. They're a moderate price point, about $35 to $40 a bottle, unless you go into the reserves and they get more expensive, as always. Um, I'm just really curious about their episode label, the Terlato Family Vineyards. Um, as I understand, this is... Uh, the episode. I'm not, it's a 2013 vintage. I don't know much about these very specific, you know, like this, sorry, not very specific, this bottle itself. I know that there's another version of this bottle that has like a, num a Roman numeral on it. I think, I could be wrong about that. If I am, inform me in the comments below so I can go do that research. Um, but my brother said, let's try this bottle out. So here we go. First impression. It is a 2013. So the last time we did a 2013, it was the Opus One in a Magnum. That was awesome. That was Thanksgiving uh, dinner and it killed. It was so, so good. I didn't think it was going to be because, you know, Opus One and all this stuff. People say it's going to be overrated. I don't think so. I think mean, it promises and delivers on exactly what it is. Uh, but that's not the bottle we're talking about now. Right now we're talking about a 2013 episode from the Terlato family, Rutherford uh, Hill, California. Rutherford Ranch, Rutherford, Terlato Vineyards, Rutherford, California. That's what it is. So let's give it a quick open. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a, uh, we're gonna do the right out the bottle sip. We'll see about it and then we'll likely decant it. We'll come right back to it on the second glass in about 35 to 40 minutes. I promise this time we actually will, uh, you know, Cork looks pretty good, straight off the bat. Uh, we stumbled upon this as a deal. I uh, don't want to say where exactly because, you know, it's a thing. But it was a very good price point. One that I didn't want to not take advantage of. So... Alright, I mean, again, as I'm proceeding and learning this with you guys, right off the bat, I love the way that cork looks. Very narrow cork. Seems like it has some age on it. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any damage to it or any mold happening there. So that's a big plus right out the gate. Uh, see, right? Very excited about this first sip. Let's see how it goes. I love these glasses. We got to do a video on the on the Zalto brand glasses. So just delicate, elegant, hand blown. Lovely, lovely glasses. Right out the gate, the rim, you know, as I'm learning, is supposed to be something you look forward to. It, there's no clarity on it, which is cool. It, it usually has like a nice white halo or something, or a clear halo going around it. It's, it's huge. It's got very light, a little light brown, off red, that's kind of tinting the, the halo around the, the glass. So that's exciting. That's the first one. Good right off the bat, one sec. It needs a little bit. It needs a little bit of water, or it needs a little bit of time. I think uh, I'm not going to nose it properly right now. Uh, a little nose blind at the moment, but this is probably going to be pretty good. Uh, let me decant it. We'll come back to you. Why not? Why didn't you knock? 